Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Everlast Protex Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here. Today I'm doing a review on the Everlast Protex Boxing Gloves. These are the newest generation of Protex from Everlast. Got mine in this black and a neon yellow colorway. 16 ounces, it is a hybrid lace-up system, meaning that it's a hybrid and Velcro closure system. You can get this in either 12 or 16 ounces. Additional colorways include a black and pink, a white and black, as well as a red and black. The glove is made of a synthetic outside PU or polyurethane, if you wanna call it. Utilizes injected molded foam over the knuckle area that has a firm density to it and the gloves are manufactured in China. Now from a design standpoint there's several things I'm pretty sure that you're really seeing that are, are very different and have kind of evolved uh, from the original Protex line. Uh, the first thing you'll probably notice is going to be the ergo lace system which they call it. So it's basically you're getting best of both worlds essentially. Uh, a lot of people, people use uh, Velcro gloves for the convenience. If, if you train by yourself a lot, you don't have somebody to lace your gloves for you. Typically the Velcro is the way to go. Um, they do have supplements now for lace-up gloves where you can use like lace and loops or other designed uh, type Velcro strap systems that you can use your laces with. But again, you know, Velcro really is the convenience when it comes to uh, boxing gloves. Whereas lace-ups, obviously it's preferred for somebody to lace them for you. You typically get a much more locked in feel. A lot of professional boxers uh, tend to use lace-ups, namely because they always have their trainer or their coach there to lace them for them. But they just like the feel of a, of a laced up glove. You get a really nice tight locked in feel. The problem with that though, um, the drawback is again, you'll have to have somebody lace them for you. So, you know, over the years, you've seen many companies try to come up with uh, their version of a lace up glove that you can put on your own. Um, you know, most recently I did a review on Shadow Fight Goods. They have a very similar system to this uh, where you have a horizontal lace system connected to a Velcro strap, which is really a really great glove as well. Um, you know, I think Title Boxing had kind of their own hybrid system. Even Adidas has kind of their hybrid system. So now you have Everlast with their iteration of a hybrid system uh, with this Ergo strap design. So essentially what it is when you're looking at it is you have the laces coming out from the side. So you have the lace holes like you traditionally would, uh, but they come out sideways and then it connects to the velcro strap now you'll notice that the way the laces go into this velcro strap is they actually go through this little channel so you can actually adjust the laces and once i have the gloves on i'll, I'll demonstrate to you guys you can actually adjust the laces of the height so you, the strap can essentially come straight across or it can be a little bit higher and come down at an angle if you want a little bit more support higher up so you're essentially getting that nice tight locked in feel of a lace-up glove but you could put these gloves on yourself because they are indeed Velcro. So you have that. You also notice that it has kind of this L-shaped design, this notched out design. And again, that's to really give you the locked in feel and also gives you a little bit more uh, comfort when it comes to your palm side. So just in terms of hand ergonomics, I really like that. The other thing that you'll notice too is that it does have a uh, micro suede thumb. So again, there's other companies that do this feature where they put the suede on the thumb and that's also to help with wicking away or wiping away sweat. So when you're training, you're getting real sweaty. Oftentimes if the gloves are made of full leather or a full PU and you wipe it off, you're basically just kind of, uh, you're basically like almost a, it's like a windshield wiper, you know, you're just uh, shimmying that sweat off your face and then it just kind of splatters everywhere um, and not really absorbing it. So that's the whole kind of point behind the suede is that when you're wiping it off, it absorbs that. And the downside is over time, this will start absorbing more and more sweat. And then what happens is the suede material becomes kind of like brittle and rough. Uh, I have a pair of gloves that, uh, from Hayabusa that had the same thumb where it, after time of me just sweating a ton, uh, the material just kind of gets brittle and rough. You could try to clean it off, but again, then it makes this suede material just rough. And over time, eventually you're just gonna have to end up replacing them. So you do have that, that micro suede here. Again, that's really great uh, for wicking away moisture. Um, nothing too crazy here with a synthetic PU, very similar to what you would find on other Everlast gloves with the Everlast written down vertically. You have the logo there. You have this cross stitching 
Uh, they use kind of this faux um, PU that looks like almost like a carbon fiber type material just to kind of give it a, a fancier look. Uh, 16 ounces right here, it says Protex. You do have a rounded cuff on this glove, so the cuff to me resembles kind of like a, a, a Thai style glove where it's rounded, where a lot of traditional boxing gloves uh, have the padding on each side, kind of like a splint, and then you have the padding on the back of the wrist. To me, this resembles a little bit more of a traditional like Thai style glove with that rounded cuff. Um, the padding, I'd say around the cuff is about maybe a three quarter inch in firm thickness around, uh, around the wrist. You also have padding that comes up right about right here. And then you have a little bit of a, a softer padding on the inside of the palm. I'd say maybe an eighth of an inch on that side, about the same on that side as well. Uh, ventilated holes on the thumb, as well as on this palm side. Uh, the grip bar in here is actually pretty large. It has a softer feel, but the size of the grip bar is pretty large and you have more of that synthetic carbon fiber looking material, as well as a, an attached thumb on the tip. Uh, quality wise, the gloves are pretty solid. Um, you know, when it comes to a synthetic glove from Everlast, oftentimes you see some of the budget range stuff, the entry level stuff, quality is not very good. The stitching is kind of falling apart. Uh, you know, it just feels really cheap like a toy. Uh, with these, I definitely feel like these are definitely better than that. Um, areas that I was most concerned with is just, you know, the synthetic here, like you can see where the holes are poked out. They weren't poked out all the way through. Some right here as well, not a huge deal, but just again, a little bit of the QC. The great thing about these gloves though, is that they were pretty much on point with weight. Uh, when I put them on the scale, they're at 15.9 ounces and these are advertised as a 16 ounce glove. So that's great there. Um, it's a very rigid glove. So if you can hold the back, you can see that the glove has zero sag to it. So in terms of the wrist support, I do like the fact that they have that zero sag. Um, you can see the stitching on here as she's, it's pretty solid. The stitching on the thumb, the stitching across there the holes again i'm not a big fan of that um, the attached thumb where it meets right here at the index finger is done pretty clean as well um, the synthetic pu is held up you know pretty well over time I haven't had any issues with cracking fading or splitting the outside edges look really good there uh, everything looks pretty clean even the stitching on the back looks okay um, in terms of sparring with this glove this does feel like it can scuff if you come at a weird angle with the stitching right here, uh, it would have been maybe nice if they didn't have the stitching there. But again, if you're to use these for, for sparring, the stitching, again, if you're punching at a really, kind of like a steep angle and maybe you catch them on the back right here, I can foresee that maybe being an issue. So maybe if you were to use these, put some tape over that, tape over the stitching so you don't end up scuffing your sparring partner. Um, also uses a, a tricot inner liner, really nice and smooth doesn't bunch up so I like that as well so quality it's pretty solid uh, for a synthetic glove now comfort wise putting my hand into the glove uh, <clears throat> um, the liner that's the probably the first thing I noticed is the liner is very comfortable uh, very smooth the tricot feel doesn't bunch up you don't have that excessive uh, it's not like they're elite retail gloves where you have a lot of material on the inside with these there's none of that uh, I kind of wish they used the same liner that they use in this in their Elite 2 retail gloves. It's just much smoother. You don't get that bunching up excess material. So uh, first things first, the palm feels really good. And again, just to show you guys the adjustable, the adjustability of the strap, you can actually either kind of like bring it down and then bring it back up if you wanted to. So the length of the, of the lace can be longer at the bottom or it could be longer at the top, just depending on how you want to do it. So you can literally just come straight across and you can see how it sandwiches my hand in and gives you that nice locked in feel. Uh, if you want a little bit more support, a little higher up, you can essentially bring the strap a little higher if you want to, and then kind of come down at an angle again. Now you're kind of bringing the strap a little higher and it kind of gives you a little bit more on the palm side. Now, in terms of obviously the design, it kind of comes across a little bit higher up, so it doesn't look really nice, but again, if you want that, you can do that as well but i kind of keep mine lower right here and really just lock that wrist in um, palm feels great it has a good amount of room right there um, they also do a good job of, on the thumb piping uh, thumb positioning is, is really good it's nice and parallel deep enough to where when i make a fist it doesn't pull down on the tip of the thumb and makes my my thumb jam the thickness here is good as well you can see the piping is long 
to where the fat part of your thumb doesn't get choked out and you, you, you know, your, your hand kind of goes numb and uh, you cut off the circulation. So that feels good. Um, the finger compartment, it's not too wide, not too deep. I wish it was a little, I wish it would, had a little bit more of um, this neoprene. There's a neoprene padding. Uh, it's almost like a memory foam. I wish it was a little bit deeper, uh, but they put it there. So that's a good thing. They cover the stitching, but I wish it had a little bit of a deeper neoprene pad to really grip down onto. Um, so overall, I mean, it's, it's a really comfortable glove. Uh, the fact that it's IMF foam, I, I hate IMF foam. I know a lot of people have seen my other videos. I'm just not a fan of injected molded foam. You typically see molded foam on like entry cheaper, cheaper gloves. It's basically a foam that's cast. If you ever see some videos on YouTube on how they manufacture in, um, in Pakistan or other countries, they basically have like this cast and they, they pour the, the foam in the, there as I believe it's like a liquid and then it forms into the molded foam. That's why it's called molded. So it's, it's really dense in terms of like protection, which we'll discuss here in a second. It's really good for that, like shock absorption. But in terms of just having that pliability, being softer, getting the feedback you're looking for, not so much. And you can see right off the bat, you know, it takes time to really break this glove in because right off the bat, it's just extremely stiff. So being able to open and close your hands is gonna be uh, definitely a task just because of how stiff this molded foam is. Uh, but outside of that, it's a very comfortable glove. Uh, protection and performance, to me, this is definitely more on the protective end, like any IMF glove, in my opinion. You can see when I push down on the foam, it's very dense. You know, it's gonna take a lot of time to really break that foam in. But the good thing is that it is very shock absorbent. The other thing I don't like about IMF is they all share kind of that same rounded shape around the knuckle area. So you can see when you're, when you're landing your punches, sometimes you have to kind of overcompensate to make sure you're landing on your two front knuckles because that IMF, again, it has a little bit more of a rounded punch surface, uh, whereas like a layered foam kind of flattens out better. You feel like you're a little bit more grounded in contact when you make contact with the bag that you're hitting or whatever the surface you're punching with. Uh, so, you know, in terms of protection, I say this is definitely more on the protective end compared to like a softer glove, uh, horsehair layered foam with maybe a soft cell padding that gives you much more feedback and pop with these, again, more protective. So if you look for a protective glove, this is definitely be good. You can really throw with good amount of power and feel confident that your knuckles will be protected. So if maybe if you're somebody that has sore knuckles, have, have an hand injury, uh, this is definitely a good glove at the price point for both wrist support and that knuckle protection you're looking for. And uh, yeah, I mean, overall, very protective glove. Uh, Cost-wise, these gloves are $74.99, so you round up $75, which to me is actually a pretty solid price for these gloves. And the reason I say that is there's, at the price point that these are at, there's not really anything on the market like these gloves and the reason you know with that ergo strap system i think that's really the game changer with this um, i get a lot of comments and messages asking hey carlo you know i'm kind of on a budget you know what are the most protective gloves yeah you know, i have a hand injury i have knuckle problems uh, but i'm like on a budget i'm like at a, a 50 dollar to 75 dollar budget and oftentimes in the past it's really hard to recommend something because most of the gloves are more expensive. Like if you want a glove that has great wrist support, you know, obviously to me, like the Onyx X factors would be, that's kind of like the pinnacle, but you're also spending over $300. Um, and then you have like the Tidal Gel World V2T gloves, which are awesome gloves, but they're heavier. They have good wrist support. They're a Velcro glove. Uh, but again, those are like 150, I think, or $175. So um, at the price point of $75, these are gonna be hard to beat in terms of getting a glove that's that hybrid lace system um, that gives you that wrist support. And then obviously the molded foam. So to me, this is kind of like that, that protective glove that fits right in that price range for those of you that need something like this, that just don't have the budget for a more expensive glove. So it kind of fills that void. Uh, again, I'm not a huge fan. I wish they would come out with maybe a little bit more of a premium version of this glove that uses like genuine leather and uses layered foam. To me, that would be killer. If they made like a, a layered foam version that was real leather and kept the Ergo lace system and added some other colorways, then I think that would be 
uh, definitely a game changer. And then make the price not too crazy expensive, uh, where it's still affordable, then I think that would be, definitely be a game changer uh, when it comes to Everlast. But overall, solid glove for the price point. Uh, again, Ergo Lace System is what, to me, really stands out with this glove and gives you that extra support and protection that you're looking for. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you guys know what to do, put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Everlast Protex boxing gloves. See you guys later. Peace.